76-year-old Alexander Gorshkov became the only candidate for the post of head of the organization. But will he be able to solve the pressing political problems? At least something in the world is not changing, this is how you can describe the situation around the elections to the Russian Figure Skating Federation. Out of all the variety of officials, familiar faces will occupy high positions, Alexander Gorshkov will head the organization, and Alexander Kogan will be its CEO. It cannot be said that the news is unpleasant, but many were puzzled by such a lack of alternative candidates. According to fans, figure skating has lost fresh ideas, which means that it is waiting for stagnation. However, this is not entirely true. The development of this sport really does not depend much on functionaries, but they face a much more difficult task to correct the foreign policy situation in sports. And it is not a fact that a novice specialist will cope with this better than an experienced manager. The logical conclusion of the four-year cycle in figure skating was the Olympics in Beijing, which means it's time for big changes. Officials need to draw up a new plan for the next four years, but before that they themselves must go through the reformation of the National Federation. In any case, it was assumed that this would happen, but the FFKKR may well cancel the elections due to the lack of any competition. The only candidate for the post of president of the Russian Figure Skating Federation was the current head of the organization, Alexander Gorshkov. In other positions, too, no changes. Alexander Kogan is applying for the position of CEO, Galina Golubkova will become his deputy with 100% probability, and Vyacheslav Zaitsev will take the role of executive secretary of the FFKKR. All managers have extensive work experience since they started their activities in 2010 after the unsuccessful Olympic Games in Vancouver. Stagnation or stability, what awaits figure skating in Russia? The lack of an alternative to the elections seriously worried figure skating fans. In their opinion, there is no generational change at the managerial level in the Russian figurine. Irina Slitskaya was recently unable to get a position as head of the Moscow Figure Skating Federation, and Gorshkov's former competitor Anton Sikharilids only recently took a similar position in the St. Petersburg Federation. The niche is occupied by age officials, and young professionals have to defend the queue. Accordingly, there is a high risk that revolutionary ideas that can completely change the discipline will not appear in Russian figure skating soon. Fans are afraid that stagnation may happen. Nevertheless, professionals are sure that our sport, on the contrary, is waiting for stability. He is the one and only and knows what's what. I am glad that this is happening, Natalia Bestemyanova welcomed the news of Gorshkov's nomination. I feel good about it, our results are very good, why should we change something? No need to change anything when the results are good. I was not surprised that Gorshkov is the only candidate, Tatyana Tarasova agrees with her. I have a normal attitude to Gorshkov's nomination, there would be somewhere to lead. He's in charge, so far it's fine, Alexander Zhulin concluded laconically. I am a fairly conservative person, there is no surprise for me in the news that there will be one candidate. Yes, there is a certain well-established process that was developed by the Federation, a certain development strategy that gave good results, when it's good, we need to move on with the same course. The fact that there are no more candidates willing to run is not entirely good, it would be great if there were some other candidates. But if the situation develops like this, I don't see anything terrible, because constancy is a sign of skill, stability comes and gives a moment of security, confidence, Inna Goncharenko commented on the situation. On the one hand, the current behavior of Russian officials resembles stagnation. The development of figure skating is largely due to the findings of our coaches and athletes, who invariably try something new. On the other hand, it is obvious that now is not the time for colossal shocks. Neither mentors nor their wards are able to solve problems of a political and economic nature, functionaries are just doing this. Much will depend on what tactics they choose to communicate with international organizations. In order to overcome prejudice against Russian figure skaters, you need to have a special authority, which newcomers definitely do not have. Officials will be tasked with correcting the foreign policy situation in this sport. Figure skating within the country will be able to move forward without their participation. After all, 
that's exactly what's been happening in recent years, and there's no point in fixing something that isn't broken. Quotes from the TASS edition are used in this video.